this time we're going to Muscalange Lake State Park and even though it's September and only 54 degrees uh, we're going to attempt camping in a tent um, we've never actually camped um, years ago when I was growing up I used to camp all the time uh, and plus I was a Girl Scout so I know a lot about camping but as far as in our married life uh, we have not ever camped but the price of the motels now we just thought well let's just buy a tent and uh, try doing it that way um, so this should be interesting we've never set this tent up before uh, crossing over the bridge and we're gonna stop and say Ignis oops probably get something to eat um, it's pretty much lunchtime well it's 11 o'clock and uh, we've got to bring a tool with us to flip hamburgers uh, on the grill <laughs> around the fire we have a portable grill but our car is so packed full we didn't have room for it so we're going to attempt cooking on the fire we're only staying one night so I think we'll survive well we have to stop and buy like a big flipper for hamburgers and uh, I know there's an ace hardware up here so, catch you later when we get closer to the park. For now, enjoy the bridge.
here we are coming up to the toll booth. Um, currently in 2022, it's $4 for a car and $6 for a car and trailer, as you can maybe catch there. Sometimes I think about getting, you can get a, a, a yearly pass. Um, we're gonna come up here probably a couple times every year. You can see Mackinac Island over there. Quite a bit of clouds today, but I don't think it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow, which I'll be glad for because I don't like to be cold. As far as sleeping in a tent, <laughs> we brought our infrared heater, the type that has a wooden cabinet. We thought, well, it should be safe. We've got air air mattress. Well, we borrowed it. And some sleeping bags and a quilt. Hoping we'll be warm. I believe that's the company that prints our local newspaper. <laughs> Isn't that the Hearst Company? Yep. That's Midwest the Hearst. Media Group. Yep. Huh, <laughs> funny. We'd love to have some sort of camping trailer. But where we live, we have nowhere to store it. And I don't really want to have to store it somewhere else and pay. So that's why we have a tent. Actually, one time before we were married, <laughs> we went camping with her sister and nephew, just a little ways from home. That was quite a disaster. Did it rain too? Yep. <laughs> we had two tents, one for me and his sister, just a little pup tent dome tent type thing and we had borrowed a tent from somebody else from my brother-in-law and his other sister and brother-in-law for him and his nephew to sleep in and they could not get that tent to go up and they ended up sleeping in it with the roof half collapsed <laughs> and uh I think it rained in the night and uh to stay more than one night but it just it was raining the next morning and we had to sit in the car because the girls tent was too small for us to sit in and the other tent was collapsed <laughs> so we decided to pack up and go home so we had to pack up all the tents that were wet 
Yeah, the trunk of my car was never the same after that. Uh, that was back in probably 1991 or 92. So, yeah, one. 92. Yeah, because we got married in '93. That's the last time I've been camping. And him, he's never really been much of a. He didn't grow up camping like I did. When I was young, we we camped in tents. And then when I was about maybe. Eight or nine, we got a little camper trailer, but it didn't have electric in it. We had to use little gas lanterns, and it didn't have, you know, like a water tank or anything. So, I pretty much know the ropes. So we finally made it to the the gate, the toll booth, and then we'll be shooting over to St. Ignace, which is just maybe two miles. Here we are. Hi there, four dollars to me. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. That's a rest area, but we're not going there. Rocky cliffs were interesting. Mm. Yep, I'm going right. <laughs> to St. Ignis. You can get on a ferry to go to Mackinac Island from this town or you can go there from below the bridge in Mackinac City. There's the Normandy, the Aurora Borealis Motel. Methodist Church. Fun little hill. even open anymore this is where we always eat but maybe they're closed for the season I don't know we'll find out huh. we'll let you know Yep, the restaurant was open. We had a nice lunch. What it was was we beat the lunch crowd there. There's only just a few people in there. Now we're going here to Ace Hardware so we can pick up a, a burger flipper. 
Let's see here. Yep. It's awfully windy. So we're hoping we'll be able to get our tent set up later. Hmm. Okay. Alright, here we are. Some cars here, they must be open. This, this is my favorite gift shop. An actual wood bark building. They don't have heat or water. They have electricity, but they closed down in October because they just don't have heat. for a few minutes to, to get by and I don't know what's going on here but well I didn't know this was going on I guess we're okay to be in there. We'll see how windy it is. It was on the opposite side of the road that we thought. Campers. Oh, we already been there. Well, sadly, that was a total flop trying to set up a tent. It just was really, really windy. And we never set it up before. We tried to try. Couldn't set it up because it kept blowing away. Um, so we actually got our money back for the almost all of it we couldn't get our reservation fee back and then we had bought some firewood and one of the campers actually bought it from us so um, we lost ten dollars but we're gonna head back into the nearest town and get a motel room and of course all we had with us was food to cook on the grill uh, so I have to have go to plan B for eating. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Just remember, if you come to Michigan, it's going to hear a lot. Sign it out. Well, this is the next day, and not all is lost. Um, we came to Tequamenin Falls. We're coming to the Upper Falls. It's uh, bright and sunny. It's going to be a little warmer today. We decided not to go back into Muscalange Park after we stayed overnight. 
stayed overnight at Newberry. We just thought, well, we'll just try something new. We've been here before. In fact, we were here almost a year ago. But we have a recreation pass for Michigan, so we can get into all these state parks for free, so why not? Well, here we are, 181 steps going down, 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 <laughs> all the way down there. Woo! To see the falls. Uh, I'm not going to video the whole thing because I'll probably be huffing and puffing. Wow, it came part way down. This is really cool. Look at those trees coming out of the side. That's called living on the edge, that's for sure. Getting close to the water. 